Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gaming for XP here. We're in Sanctuary Hills today. It's a lovely morning in the Commonwealth, and we've got a new building project as ever. So th today I thought I'd uh, build a little house of worship. Um, I think every uh, community needs somewhere to go and just be quiet and collect their thoughts and do maybe a little bit of worshiping if they feel like it. So let's get started. We'll get the foundation in first. And you can see here I'm, I'm putting a folk foundation in and then a half foundation in. This bit, it, I struggle a little bit because um, it just won't, it won't click in. Um, so I'm battling a little bit with that for a while, and then I'll have a little bit of a moment. Yeah, I'll go sideways for some reason. <laughs> so let's just see. No, okay. There we go. I'll have have my moment. I'll get rid of that. Do the select all and just move this across slightly. Yeah. And we'll so I'm just getting it into place and that should now snap in beautifully. Bingo. Look at it. I do a lot of that, you'll see that a lot of that in the video. I just sit back and have a look and look at the angle, look at the position. Yep, yeah, there we go. I think I get in a much better position by doing that. Okay, so first piece in fantastic um, and the reason I wanted to do that you can see I'm now offsetting those uh, wooden floor foundations Yep. Um, and I want to do one more at the back and I want to offset that okay in you go that's it beautiful get rid of that nice and I don't need those ones now either Fantastic! Excellent! So far so good. Preston's having a little bit of an inspection, make sure that I've done it correctly. Um, so today I'm going to use the barn tab. Uh, walls, you can use what you like, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to walk through actually, um, I have white walls on because it's like my practice run went so well, I actually used that as the final walkthrough. So, red today reason for red is uh, really that it actually gives you a better contrast now these little half walls are very important because of the shape of the, the foundation and see i struggle a little bit to get this wall in so i decide okay how do i get the wall in so i I'll go through all the menu and then revise or well, the piece i wanted was actually right next to what i was working on so if you can't run across this problem, one of the ways to do it is just to put pieces in that adjoin it and then bingo, it goes straight in. Go. So far so good. Yep. What do I need to do next? A uh, little half piece at the end there. And when you see the finished building, this actually has a th is is three levels it, it has a, a tiered look about it. so two four walls there nice okay With half walls on either side and again that wall's not behaving the way it should you see it snap in and then it snaps out again so same thing as i done before put the other walls in first again build order is is important here and then she goes beautiful Okay, so far so good. Yep. Gonna check that it's all still there and it's all still standing. Yep, good. So let's go to the next part. And I'll go out of this uh, tab now and go to the warehouse tab because the walls that I want to use next are in the warehouse tab. And I love these. You would have seen, if you've seen my diner um, video, you would have seen me use these uh, wall pieces or windows. I just like the, the look of them. If you haven't watched that uh, video yet, go and check it out. And, uh, it's a little bit different to what I've seen anybody build as far as diners go. Okay, so so far so good. And we're making good progress. Back into the barn tab now. Uh, and we'll just finish off the walls here. 
Now you'll see I'll, I'll put these walls across here um, and it's for a certain look that I like to do. Yep, in there. In there and I'm going to come back and realize that I've made a bit of an error there a little bit later but I need to put a few more up in that bit there. Um, I wanted to build a kind of spire or a, you know, a tower, whatever. So I see I've Realized, I think that that shouldn't be there, it should be a full wall. Take that out. Okay, you could go for a scapula if you want. I, I looked at that for a second and thought that might look quite nice. So, therefore, there we are, we're making quite good progress. Um, back to the warehouse tab now. So, back and forward, the warehouse tab and the barn tab are. Uh, interconnectable so that it's good that both pieces work with each other these little glass end pieces excellent come on come on up you go Where you are. and see they they will snap onto the wall um those walls so i'll give up on that end and do the same <laughs> up you go Fantastic. Um, and now I realise that I've got to take one of these walls out to be able to get the snap into place. Again, as I always say, build order is key. Um, and sometimes it, it just takes you by surprise. Um, if something's not fitting in, it's probably the easiest thing to do is just to take a piece out, snap them in, and you'll see the full wall. Up she goes. In she goes. No problem, everything's good. So now we'll put the wreath on. Um, so you can see I'm going back and forward in the warehouse and the barn tab fairly well, uh, quite a lot. But I could have put the set the roofs in the from the warehouse in here, but I decided to put the barn roofs with the uh, cross member there. Quite, it makes a good look of a high ceiling. Um, so next I'll put the roof on the front, and I've been looking at. I look um, at buildings, church buildings, and the like, and I like that little porch area. So I've, I've been trying to figure out how to do that for a little while now. Put this roof on the back, and I like the one with the, the brick look on the uh, top. So up she goes. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, where you can raise that a little bit higher. See how I pushed it up onto a high piece. Um, on the controller, it's uh, left bumper A and your stick. I'm not sure what it would be on PS4 or um, or PC. I certainly have got an article somewhere that if I can find it, I'll leave it in the description. So the door's in, that's the uh, warehouse door. I like that one, the glass, just gives it a little bit different look. And what's next? Okay, so here's where the trouble starts. So I want to put a little pathway in. And so we have these foundation uh, stones or foundation uh, pieces that are, look a little bit different, a little bit of stone in them. But a little bit tricky to, to work with. Uh, so I'm using place anyway. Uh, I don't quite get this right. And this is where the struggle begins. Um, I do spend quite a considerable time uh, getting this right. I don't show you all of it, I actually cut this out because it takes such a long time and it's quite frankly it's a, quite a pain in the arse. Now, at this point I've discovered a new piece of foundation that I've never worked with before ever and so as I'm recording I decide to do this now to use this and this doesn't work out well. Uh, there's a very long struggle here of me fighting and you see I've cut out and it's started raining now and you know life's just not working out the way I should think it should but you can use the pillar and um, eventually I end up cheating and using place anywhere but you, know, you can see it, it yep it's it wants to go in but it actually is a little bit too high for for where I want it to be see uh, anyway, I'll, I'll left this in just to show you that Persistence, you will get it in with a pillar. Um, you would probably though have to build it out a little bit so it was 
to add a, a, a level to it. What am I doing now? I've got rid of it. I'm going back to the original piece that I started with. Yep, that'll do. So those new pieces just caused me a few headaches, so I ended up using the original pieces. So we're back with it. Let's go. Cool. A little bit of a step, and I quite like the look of that step, so in the end I decided to go with that. I'm just lining it up here. Make sure it's all lined up and looks good. And I might just sink it down a little bit more. Yeah, so it, it actually goes into the dirt. It's actually a good look. Because I want this uh, building to look as though it's been there for a while. So hence why the grass is poking through the, pa the, the pathway. I think it makes it look a little bit more authentic. And lining it up, lining it up. There we go. Yep, I can live with that. Now, I've got no idea what I tried to do here. I think I tried to just fill in that gap um, and then realised there was a foundation in the way and I end up just scrapping that. Okay, yep, all too hard. I've been struggling for 10 or 15 minutes with this. Now, the, the door is swinging the wrong way. So I decided to change that. I'm just going to cut out the bit where the menu loads. Boom. Um, funny enough, it's just switching that door around, it fixes it. Yep, that's it, correct. Swings inwards. So, looking good so far. Everything's coming along very nicely. As you can see, I'll give you a side view and how that has a three kind of tier look about it and different heights. I like the look of it a lot. So I think there's only one more piece to do, which is to build the platform for the electron. Um, again, I'm going to cut out the bit where it loads my menu because it takes forever now. And especially in Sanctuary Hills, I've built so much here that it, it just takes a long time to load. So, you want the upper shack floor piece, that's the, the big piece, uh, this piece here that's got quite a bit to it. Now, this is a bit tricky here because this piece of wood will try and jump up on you. Um, you will be able, to be able to use, see, it jumps up like that. Use the rug if you're going to um, do it without place anywhere. Um, or the ash tree, you can use the ash tree, whatever, whatever you're used to using. And it just gives that little bit of a raised platform um, at the end of the main area, the main hallway. And finally, let's scroll through millions and millions of pieces to find the lectern that, that sits on there. There's lots of good stuff in there. I actually found a church organ when I was looking for this particular piece, um, which I didn't even know was in here, um, which kind of prompted me to think well, I could build a church that has a has a, a organ in it. The lectern goes there. And so you get you get the main idea. That's the main build done. Um, we'll go to the walkthrough in a minute, and you'll see the pieces add in. But pretty simple structure. Doesn't take long to put in. Um, looks nice. And so here's the final walkthrough. The only thing I'm not happy about is this fence uh, gateway. See how clean it is, uh, and I will eventually um, change that. But I've added. A few bits and pieces in. You can see the pathway there. Um, some headstones and lights. Just adds to the overall look. Um, yeah, same door. The neon sign comes from Better Stores, which I'll leave the description in the description at the end. And I decided to put a viewing area or a balcony in above, um, which is fairly easy to do. Some be fairy benches and you know, a little table at the end which you can turn into an altar if you like. And it's a pretty simple um, simple build but very effective um, building to have in your settlement. And um, something maybe you can consider in yours. So that's it. Not too much to it today. Quick build filled up that gap nicely. I'm going to show you every angle I can possibly 
think of and uh, thanks for watching um, if you like this video leave a comment a like is appreciated certainly subscribe to the channel we're going well but we could do a few more subscriptions and we'll catch you next time